Hi, I'm Hospital Corpsman First Class Brittany Berkeley from Hampton, Virginia. I'm stationed here currently on the U.S. NS Comfort. I am a member of the ground team here with patient transport. Um, our job is to make sure that patients are getting where they need to be with the correct care at the correct time. So we have to manage three different types of communication from our radio and three different um, chat groups or information systems. So we have a system where we have people out in town who are generating information from the patients and finding patients that will match our needs or what we have here at the, at the Comfort. And from there, that information gets translated to the mock and the mock is a medical officer in charge. And once that information gets to him, it gets disseminated out to the various departments so that we know where they're going, what their needs are, and who they're, who's coming and when they're gonna be here, which allows us to provide that proper transportation for our patients. So how it works is the mock communicates with different parties. And because we're also part of that communication, we also get the information. So when there's a vehicle here to come in, we're notified that the, that vehicle is here. We call the transport team so that they're here when the vehicle arrives. And then we have the information on who the patient is so that if they need extra care, like if they're going to the ICU and they need some ventilation, we have that information as well. It's been a lot of interesting pieces and kind of building this from the ground up. It started from three chairs and three people in the Colts. Now we have two tents currently um, and three teams working effectively. So it's been a great experience seeing these people come and being super grateful and super um, amazed at kind of what they're actually being a part of. And here it is one of those once in a lifetime opportunities that we get to be a part of because this has never happened before. So when patients are arriving to us, some are super excited to be here and to be a part of the process. And some are a little apprehensive just because we are intimidating. Um, coming up on a group of people in yellow gowns, gloves and masks and seeing white tents can be extremely scary. So myself and my nursing staff here, we try to make them as comfortable as possible. Giving them great eye contact, talking to them, smiling with them, um, communicating with them, making sure that they have everything that they need from also the EMS staff as well as we. So that kind of alleviates a lot of the apprehension as well as the nervousness. It is a scary time for a lot of the older population, so we try to make them at ease as much as possible. You smile with your eyes. You're smiling in your mask, but when you smile, your eyes also smile. So giving them that eye contact and letting them know that they're gonna be okay. When patients come down, they're super grateful. I actually talked to one of the members that was getting um, discharged the other day, and he was super happy to not only be going home, but to be able to receive the care that he did. There was also another gentleman that was being discharged, and he was the most sweetest older man. He was so happy. Um, he almost tried to pay some people, but we were like, no, sir, we're here for you. So we're just happy that you're healthy and you're able to go home. So everybody seems to be really, really happy with the care they're receiving on board, with the hospitality and the bedside manner. So I've heard nothing but great things. So I'm hoping that the momentum keeps going. We keep getting patients in and also getting them out because that's our goal to hear. So when we receive patients that are getting discharged, a lot of the feedback is genuine happiness. They are excited about the care that they received, they, the hospitality that they receive between the nursing staff as well as our corpsman staff. They rave about the people that are on the wards. Um, some of them don't want to go. So we, we can't keep them as much as we want to, we can't. Um, but they love it here. They, they definitely appreciate the time and the effort that we've all taken to participate and alleviate some of the, the madness that's currently going on. I am a nurturer by nature. Um, so being able to put that into practice and help people and save lives and change their lives, it's an awesome opportunity for, for us. I'm a hospital corpsman by trade, um, nurturer by nature. So it kind of plays into that. And just being able to see people leave healthy and happy. So as long as I can do that and we can be a part of that, couldn't ask for anything else.